What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Good Old Boy Bank Company YouTube channel. Today we are going to be showcasing some of our brand new finesse worms. We've had these on the website for about a week and they've done very well. You guys have responded very well to them. So I thought I would do a little YouTube video making some. And we have an order for some finesse worms in our galaxy color. So that is what we are going to be doing today. So first things first, let's get this bad boy into the microwave and let's get the plastic cooked. This order also has some um, of our creature bays right here. I want some of those in our galaxy color as well. If you have not seen the video of us making our creature baits, I think it was two videos ago, make sure to go check that out. That is an awesome video. That is one of our best selling baits. It's one of my personal favorite baits besides our ribbon tails. It's just a bass catching machine and I love it. So go check that video out if you have Okay, so we are back. We've got our plastic all cooked up here. Now I'm going to put in our coloring and our flakes. So there's our black colorant. Alright, now it is time for our flakes. We got blue. We've got red, and last but not least, we have our silver. Let's see how this turns out. Oh. looks perfect put some right here see just a little bit more blue and I think we've got it oh. yeah that looks a whole lot better awesome so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this plastic through what's called a vacuum chamber that sucks out all the air and moisture out of the plastic so we don't have any problems when we shoot and then I'm going to heat it back up and then we will shoot the plastic into the mold and we'll see how they turn up alright so I'm gonna put this in the vacuum chamber now alright now it has been pretty cold lately here in Tennessee and so the molds are pretty cold when I come out here to the garage to make baits so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna run my mold's under this heat gun real quick just to kind of warm them up a little bit. It just helps the plastic go through the mold a little bit better when it's cold. When it's cold, the plastic likes to harden up before it gets all the way through the mold, which just allows the bait to get fully melted and the plastic to get all the way through. I'm going to heat the plastic back up. The plastic just got out of the vacuum chamber. And then we will shoot our molds. Let's do it. All right, so we've got our plastic all heated up here. Um, it's time to shoot them. And I just want to get a quick close up of this color. There. Love this color. It's been our most popular color. This and sour grape by far. Always had good results and good feedback with these colors. So now we are going to shoot our molds. All right, so let's get these molds shot real quick. We've got our injector. Let's do it. Also ran the heat gun on the injector for just for a few seconds. I didn't show that, but I did. There's our finesse worms in the front mold. And then we've got our creature baits here in the back. Alright, now I'm going to let those sit for a second, and then we'll see how they all turned out. Alright, now let's see how these finesse worms turned out. I 
All right, moment of truth. Boom. There they are. Galaxy finesse worms. Love these. This is probably one of my new favorite baits. Oh, looks so. All right, here's your, here you guys go. This is a little better look at them. Right here. Love these guys. These are a killer right here. Let's see how the creature baits turned out. All right, so now I'm going to open up our creature baits here. Let's see how these guys turned out. Oh, all stuck together. This mold always gets stuck. There we go. Oh yeah, absolutely gorgeous baits. Whew, this is color is so good. I love this color so much. I just did my second shoot on both those baits just because I um, got to do two shoots for a pack. And while those are cooling, I wanted to show off some of our fin new finesse worms. Come on, focus. In green pumpkin red. This is probably our most standard color. It's good for a lot of people that if you don't know what color to throw, a lot of people just automatically go to green pumpkin. It'll work pretty much anywhere. Green pumpkin red, green pumpkin blue, and then uh, black and blue. If you don't know the conditions that you're fishing in or just want to buy a couple backs just to try the bait out and want a color that'll catch fish, those will always catch fish. Alright guys, I think that is going to be the end of today's video. If you are still watching, I appreciate your support. And make sure to use code YouTube for 10% off our website for the next couple days. Just as a little gift for the people that watch all these videos, I really appreciate it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you want some baits, the link will be in my bio, goodoldboybaits.com. You will love your baits. You can customize any of our baits any way you want. So, if you want to do that, the website link will be in my bio. If you do not want to buy baits, but you still want to be a part of the channel, that's awesome as well. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Go follow our Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. We are almost to 20,000 on TikTok, so that is awesome. And once we hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, I will do a massive giveaway. So, thank you guys for watching, and keep fishing.